This firefighter is in between evolutions, not complete working in the IDLH atmosphere for the day. This firefighter is removing his hood over his SCBA face piece and pulling the SCBA face piece directly off of his head. This is the preferred method for hood and SCBA face piece removal. These firefighters are using the post fire wipes in between an evolution. They are not complete working in the IDLH atmosphere for the day. These firefighters are using the wipes on their hands, their face, and their necks, and anywhere else they think they may have been contaminated. These firefighters have left the IDLH atmosphere, the hot zone. They will no longer be firefighting today. They are going through the gross decon at this time. The firefighters will check, see who is lowest on air, and that person will be washed first. It is preferred that the firefighters stay on air through the process of the gross decon. This will help protect them from inhaling any gases or contamination that may be on their gear. The firefighters are rinsed down with a garden hose, low pressure from the neck down, including the boots and the gloves. This will remove the gross contamination on their gear. Then the firefighter will be sprayed down with the soap and water solution all across their body. And then they will be scrubbed with a soft bristled brush from the neck down. As you scrub the firefighter, you will see the white soap bubbles forming. Remember to wash the hands, the gloves, and the boots. Once the firefighter is scrubbed, they will be rinsed down with the low pressure garden hose from the neck down. Use caution around the interfaces of the turnout gear as to not squirt water down the firefighter's neck. Each state decon kit contains a 15 foot garden hose, a garden hose nozzle, and an adapter for an inch and three quarter to garden hose fitting. The kit also includes a squirt bottle and two brushes, a large yellow car wash type brush and a smaller blue wheel type brush. Either brush may be used for this firefighter decon. It's entirely your preference. Once the gross decon is complete, the firefighters will package their equipment for transport. The state has supplied construction grade clear garbage bags for turnout gear and SCBAs to be placed in. Gear can also be placed into gear bags to help contain any residual contamination that may be on the gear before going through a complete wash. Gear bags, turnout gear, and equipment should never be stored in the passenger compartment of vehicles. Once complete with stowing your gear, Use the wipes to remove any contamination left on your skin. This does not eliminate the need for taking a shower as soon as possible. Take a shower, put on clean clothes.